Now we showed you that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we showed you that. Hi, you're welcome to Turtle Time. My name's Adam. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the Skim 2 from All Pond Solutions, and then we're going to talk about the sponge filters and what you can do to make them safe for turtles. So the first thing I want to show you is the Skim 2 All Pond Solutions uh, skimmer, which is not talked about much when you talk about turtles um, with them being semi-aquatic and them coming through the water. And the reason why this is important is because you have your filters running whether they're external or internal um, and what they do is they suck in all this water and filter it for you. With turtles, unlike you say a fish aquarium, you'll have an open top because you don't want humidity because that causes shell rock. Because they're open, there is dust that you can't see all in the air. You can't see it. It's little tiny little specks drops into your tank. And I don't care how clean your house is, how sterile that room is, they will drop onto the surface of the water. And unfortunately, your filters can't manage to get all that stuff sucked in and filtered out. So what it does is it sits on the top of the tank. Untreated, unlived in, if you left an aquarium line, you'd see all this scum just all develop on the surface. And if you go and look in your turtle tank, if you haven't got a skimmer, and look up, you'll see all that flowing on the top. You'll see it, little bits of it, little bits of dust. If you look through the top it'll look clear but as we look through you'll see it for the sake of 10 pounds or 15 dollars if you're in america they have this contraption which is the skim 2 aquarium surface skimmer and all this does is has a little filter that's in here this one's obviously been used at the moment so i've just took this one out to show you a little filter in there easy to put together adjustable this sits in the top and it finds its level when it finds its level at the top, it sucks in all the crap that's on the top of the water. All that dirt and grime, all the dust, all the things that you can't see that settles in your aquarium. and sucks it in and filters it out. And you'd be surprised with one of these how much you'll see drop into here. And because it's so small, I think the one would benefit you. Because it's so small, it gets to fill uh, the sponge really, really fast. And you'll see it. You'll also see how crystal clear your water looks uh, from the bottom after you've used this, even for a few days. So you sit that in. I will show you now because it's all set up to go. So we'll put that in now and let show you how it finds the level. So let me drop that in for you. It finds its own level. So we'll get that switched on for you. Yep. We'll get that switched on now. And as you can see, it sucks in all the stuff that's on the top, drops it in here, drops down and filters out. So it's a great little contraption and with turtles they come through the water they breathe the air they're semi-aquatic so would you like to live in a room that's full of dust breathing that in you'd be pouring it all the time and it's the same thing for the turtles they are breathing in all this air with all this dust and they're coming up through this water and this helps to treat it it's not expensive you can never be over filtered with turtles so it's a great little contraption I'll put the links in the description for where you can purchase one of these. As I say, 10, 50, 10 pounds, 15 dollars. So the second thing we're going to look at is a sponge filter. Notoriously, turtles will pull and pinch at this all over the place. So what happens is you have a build-up of the good bacteria, and that's all nice and yummy to turtles. And so they'll try and eat that. And there's a simple method to it to allow you to have a sponge filter because they're great. They're a great addition. As I said before, you can't be over-filtered. So to add that in, what you can do is purchase these little things. These are called gutter guards. Now we're already using them, but I'm going to show you to set up all you do. And you take two of these gutter guards, which are a cost of about six pounds, eight dollars, ten dollars for a pack of six. You'll have some spares. And you literally open those up and slot those round. Now we've got a big sponge filter. Some of the smaller ones you'll be able to do this just with one. All right, they close up, done. You take the second one and put that round. And what you do is you then make sure 
but when it's sat there, there is no sharp ends that we can be caught on, but it's nice and smooth and it sits there. So what I'm going to do, this one, the last sponge filter has just been cleaned. So we're going to now set that up and we're going to drop that in. Connect our air pump. We're going to drop that in. Have another quick check just to make sure that we've got no sharp bits that we can catch on. And once it's set up, you just leave it there, and that's it. Turtles are happy, and that's all set up to go. So, now we showed you that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now we've showed you that. That's the All Con Solution Skim 2 Aquarium Surface Skimmer. Not expensive, and will do the job that you need, because prevention is cheaper than the cure. Sounds really cheesy to say that, but it is. Okay, so that's that. You will find all different varieties of sponge filter. We've got the larger sponge filter there. Um, I'll put the link in the description to the one that we use. I think it's a Weaver Bird one. It's a very large one. And I'll put the link into the description for the gutter guards, which are these here. And then if you look this way, which we're just preparing at the moment, these will be for the next arrivals when we decide what's going in there. Um, so that's a 400 plus litre tank. So that's all set, ready, cleaned, ready to go, ready to be filled. See you on the next episode.